that 11 servicemen missing after a helicopter crash are presumed dead. It happened during an overnight training mission, which is quite common near Eglin Air Force Base. A reminder to us that those who serve um, put themselves at risk both in training and in combat. All of us families found out on the news from the media um, before any of the casualty officers even made their way to our homes. We're marching from this crash site all the way back to Campbell's Union to signify bringing our brothers home. We're honoring their legacy. Honestly, this was one of the biggest honors I've had in my life. I mean, to be able to represent these guys. You know, like I said, I deployed twice with them and I was always looking up to every one of them. You'd meet and talk with the friends of the guys that were on these helicopters and you'd learn more about them. So as this entire event progressed, it became more important to everyone that was involved with it. Watching the families, I mean, what they lost, like that first day when we were rucking along, doing the two miles together and watching like, you know, people come up and take turns with the flag and the the paddle, that's, you know, one of the last links to their kids other than the memories. That was, that was hard. It's important to give prominence to these people's lives. At the end of the day is we're all going to look back and, and remember what a uh, trying and, and um, physically demanding experience it was, but how rewarding it was, and how what a beautiful uh, way to memorialize these men's lives. 